What's up everybody? Hey, today we're gonna be working on this 2019 Toyota Tacoma. We're gonna be putting five 29 gears in it. All right, we got these four bolts we're gonna be taking off. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dark. Four bolts on the back, we'll be removing those. That's a 14 wrench. All right, we have the sensor here we're gonna take off. Just took the four bolts off already. And then we're gonna be undoing the brake line here so that we can get the shafts ready to be pulled out. Again, this is on the rear of the Tacoma. Meanwhile, Mesh is undoing the oil drain plug here. We're going to go ahead and drain it. And then we'll be taking the drive shaft off. So that we can prepare to pull the shafts and pull the chunk out. Saw a socket, Mesh. 24, 24, it's a 2019, so it's probably going to be rather, yeah, rather clean all. I can look really good. And 529s ought to be, ought to be nice. Mesh is going to go ahead and remove the brackets that hold the brake lines in place in the rear. We're also gonna take the nuts off the rear differential. Mesh is gonna pull the shafts out on both sides. And then we're gonna remove the chunk together, placing it on this cart that you see here in front of us. Once we get it there, we're gonna wheel it over to the side. We're gonna take the differential and we're, we will begin tearing it apart piece by piece. It's important that when you do this, you make sure that you keep all your parts together in the same order in which you took them off. You don't want to get anything mixed up because that could affect your final setup when doing your new gears. Now our next step is to set up the differential. I'm gonna install the setup bearings on the pinion, install the pinion in the differential housing. I'm gonna add the rear bearing, the yoke. I'm gonna put the rear nut on, and then I'm gonna run everything up with my impact to tighten it down so we can get a good indication of pinion depth. What we're doing right here is we are running a pattern on the ring gear so that we can determine how deep the pinion sits or how shallow it sits on the ring gear. This will let us know, depending on the depth, if we need to decrease 
or increase our shim stack on the pinion. Obviously we had to make a change here. So we're gonna pull the differential back down, make that adjustment to the shims, and then we can put everything back together. Now that our painted pattern's complete, I'm gonna put the rear bearing in the differential housing so we can get ready for final assembly setup. I'm gonna grab some lube and I'm gonna make sure that I add plenty of lube to the bearing. That way we don't have any issues with it. Then I'm gonna install the oil slinger and then I'll put the seal in. Make sure when you're putting the seal in that you add RTV sealant. That way you don't have any potential for leaks. And then I'll get a socket, correct size of it, and go ahead and knock it into place. You want to be very careful with the seal because you can damage it. Let's get ready to add the pinion to the differential housing. Oh, I forgot something. Did y'all catch it? Oh, good job. That's right. I didn't add the oil. Glad I caught that before putting it together. Saved you some trouble. All right, so we have the front bearing the rear bearing, the crush sleeve, the oil slinger, the seal, and now we're gonna knock the yoke on. And of course we have our shim underneath our front bearing. I'm gonna use the impact to snug it up. Be very careful when using an impact because you could actually run up the crush sleeve too much. All right, so we're at just over a thousand. Mileage is 44,508. Yeah, that's thing brand new. Speedometer. Says 29 and we're showing about well, 27, 28. All right, right here I'm at 35. 38. So 38. So it's three miles off. So I'll tell you when right now. Like four miles off. Did you like the video? I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you hit that subscribe button and you'll be sure to enjoy the content that we produce. See ya.